they just, McStay comes straight back in. Obviously, he's, he's a good key, key target for you up forward, so someone you, you'll be able to make a bit of use out of this weekend. Yeah, no, good to have him back into the team. He's uh, worked really hard on his recovery, um, trained well this week, so there's no sort of doubt that he's, he's right to go. Um, Tommy Fullerton was a little unfortunate to have to go out of the out of the team. Uh, he played quite well last week. Um, probably better than some of our more senior players, to be honest. But um, uh, uh, it's good that he's done that. That gives us confidence in him. But uh, yeah, Dmax in. He's, he's been a really integral part of our lineup for quite some time now, and it's good to have him in the team. What's impressed you with um, Devon Robertson? I imagine there's a bit of a queue of players wanting that spot that, that you left vacant. Yeah, there's been. Um, yeah, Matho's been going well in the in in the reserves. Um, obviously, Mitch Robinson. Um, you know, they're all all, all thereabouts. Um, but Dev, you know, Dev came into the side last year and performed some really good roles for us, particularly in the middle part of the season. His form's been equally as good. We like his run. We like his ability to tag if we need to tag. So, uh, uh, just marginally gave him the nod over some of the other lads. Is there much pain over last week or do you just move? Oh, you've got to move on pretty quickly, you know, le learn the lessons. Um, you know, I look at our group this year, we're, we're eight wins and two losses and our, our two losses have been by ten points at Geelong and five points in Launceston, so uh, we're not too far off, haven't, haven't had a perfect season. So uh, we, we were disappointed in elements of our game. We, we were, like, you know, we we're averaging 69 points against. Uh, we, we conceded 117 last week, so uh, there were some elements of our team defence um, away from the contest that let us down. Um, they are effort things and uh, you know, we've had a look at those this week and the boys understand what happened and uh, you know, hopefully we can you know, not have that happen again tomorrow. Zork scored at a bit of a wake-up call the other day. Have you seen a response from the, the guys if it was a, if it was that? Yeah, well, it's a short week, so they don't get to train much. So they don't see a hell of a lot on the track, but um, uh, they they weren't too um, jovial when they walked into the team meeting this morning, which is usually a good sign that their minds are are on the job. You gave away a lot of free kicks that led to goals last week mm. that you made a mention of post-match. Is that something you try to coach this week or is it something you can coach during the Yeah, oh, we certainly, I mean, you can just look at vision and see, you know, it might be a tackle technique thing, uh, might be a marking uh, contest technique thing. Um, and, you know, um, so that, that's what we do. That we, we took the learnings from that. It's too many, 37 free kicks, 37 free hits to start the play up. Um, and no doubt contributed enormously to, to what was a fairly narrow loss in the end, but those things do make a difference. That that number, 36 or 37, probably bumped it up a bit, but you do average and get third or fourth most free kicks against in the comp. Is that a yep. concern or is it something that you can... We get a few too. What's the differential? One. One and a half. One or one and a half. One. Yeah, so we, one, we, one. we get about as many as we g give Close, away. Yeah, yeah right. Um, Oh, you'd always like to get more than you than you give away, but our games tend to be fairly contested sorts of games, and um, there's lots of physical contact that goes in in those games, and and so therefore I just think it's a natural thing that there'll be there'll be more free, free kicks in the game, and th there's a chance that we might we might be in the negative from time to time. Hugh, was it more than one week? Or? Nah, he's really close to playing. Um, the scan shows marginal damage. It's it's probably more neural back related, so we just got to. Get him, get him right, and uh, it seems to be giving him a week off is probably a wise thing to do at this point in time. Is it hard to prep for the for the Giants? Obviously, they've got a new coach. They've you've only got one game of evidence. They threw a few players into different positions. Has mm. that made it more difficult this week? Um, Oh, perhaps a little, but it's it's very hard in the space of two weeks to completely change a game plan and, and style. So, what we saw last week was was familiar Giants brand, it was probably just more different players in different spots, so uh, uh, we just got to have an open mind about it, you know, you, you, you never know exactly what's going to happen in a game, so you just got to be ready to respond if they if they suddenly change something. Uh, Fags, David Noble's been under a fair bit of scrutiny, yeah, have any words of advice for him? Uh, I would have spoken to Nobes uh, maybe a week or two ago, more just to ring to, ring to see how he was going, um, it's always a difficult time when 
coaches are under the, under the pump. Um, and I know myself in the first couple of years here, it was hard work when we, we weren't winning many games. Um, and people are look, trying to look for reasons why. Um, you know, he's trying to rebuild a footy club and there's a bit of pain associated with that as we found out. So uh, hopefully, um, you know, some patience can be shown and, and, and uh, wise heads prevail and, and that he, can, um, he and the team can see their way through it. When you c compare and contrast the, those first two years for you here, I mean, you, out, the lines are a bit out of the spotlight. Being in Melbourne maybe puts a bit more focus on a team that's going to take time to rebuild. Oh yeah, it's a it's a red hot footy town. There's no doubt about that. So there's not too much, uh, no, not too much sympathy sympathy for you. Um, oh, look, I think if they can show some improvement in the second half of the year, that'll definitely help them. I'm not there. I don't know what's going on internally. I've no idea. But, you know, from the outside, that's what I hope, that they can show some improvement and that, that helps the nobs and the other coaches there um, have life a little bit easier for a while. Mitch Robertson, is, where are you at with him? Yeah, well, he's, he's, um, he's uh, in or close to the team. Um, you know, we've got some young blokes that we need to, to bring through. Mitch's form in the reserves has been really good. Um, and, you know, it, he's there ready to go whenever we need to call on him.